Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 12.3, fifth question. The question is, the temperature dropped 15 degrees Celsius in the last 30 days. If the rate of temperature drops remain the same, how many degrees will temperature drops in the next 10 days? So here they have given that the temperature is dropping like it's dropped at 15 degree in last 30 days. If you, if you see the last 30 days record, the temperature has been dropped to 15 degree. And here and, and they have also given that the rate of decrease, the rate of temperature which is dropping is same. Like every day it is dropping same temperature. And we have to find out how much degree of like temperature has dropped in last 10 days, like in next 10 days, um, how much temperature will still drop. That's where to find out here. So if you have to find out for 10 days, we have to find out for the one day, like we have to use the unitary method here. Here they have given that for 30 days, the temperature dropped to 50, like 15 degree temperature has been dropped in 30 days. So how to find out for 10 days? We are going to first find out for the one day. In one day, how much temperature is dropping? And the same temperature is dropping every day. It's given that same rate. Same rate means every day the same temperature is dropping. So how to find out that? Now it's quite confusing that which number we have to multiply, which number we have to divide. So just to avoid this, I'm going to give you this. Uh, here they have given that 15 degrees Celsius is equal to 30 days. Yes. And here we have to find out for the one day. In one day, how much temperature has dropped. So day we have to find out, right? This day. Here we have 30. So we don't want this 30. Transpose this to other side. So this will become 15 divided by 30. 15 degrees Celsius divided by 30 is equal to day. Day means it is one day. So one day is equal to 15, one day temperature is nothing but 15 degrees Celsius divided by 30. That's it. So we are going to cancel this number. Whatever temperature we got, that much temperature is dropping every day. So we are going to use unitary method here. I hope it's clear which number we're dividing and why we're dividing. So if you're able to frame this one, what is given the question, you can able to find out easily which number to divide. Now let's write on what we know from the question. So given, so what we know from here, temp, from the question, they have given the temperature. So temperature drop in 30 days is equal to 15 degree Celsius. Then temperature drop in one day. So temperature drop in one day is equal to like I explained before it is 15 degree Celsius divided by 30. Now we have to divide this number or you can cancel the number. I am going to do cancellation here. You can cancel this in 5 table or you can cancel directly in 15 table. 15 ones are 15, 15 twos are 30. So here we got half degree Celsius that is uh, 0 0.5 degree Celsius is like it's dropping every day. Now we got for one day, now we can find out for the next 10 days. So you have to just multiply with 10. Like for one day it is half, for second, for in two days it will be half plus half, for third it will be half plus half plus half. So instead of adding it, we are going to multiply because multiplication is easy, we go with multiplication. Therefore, temperature drop in next 10 days next 10 days will be equal to so in one it is half right so half degree celsius multiplied by 10 we can cancel 2 and 10 2 ones are 2 fives are 10 so we have 1 and 5 in the numerator multiply them 5 ones are 5 so 5 degree celsius which means in next 10 days temperature drop will be 5 degree celsius that's it so i hope this question is clear in case you have any question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching